so Carlos Nassar has been trying this now for, well, at least for five months since the European Championships, a 235 kilo front squat triple. He failed it in the training hall at the European Championships. He failed it about two days ago in training. And I know that he's tried it even before then, uh, in between in, uh, in training, and he's not made it. 235 kilos for a triple in the front squat. And then finally, uh, yesterday, he made that lift. Uh, it was a real grind. He's not the, I mean, he's obviously incredibly strong, uh, but he's not, he's not got the strongest legs in the 89 kilo category. I mean, Tian Tao can front squat 280, 290. I mean, who knows what he's going to be doing at 89, but probably 280. I think he did that at 85. Even someone like Nino has front squatted 240 for doubles and made them look nicer. But this 235 is big. Oh, Kedemar hit 290, right? Kedemar might have the strongest legs actually in the 89s. So that's really exciting. And Carlos is still looking good in, you know, training in general. He just hit 175 kilos in the snatch. Uh, in training and he did that for with no straps which is obviously you know for him he probably feels it's not for everyone sometimes athletes lift a little bit more with straps i don't if i use straps it's just to um just to save my hands that's how it's always been if i'm doing like triples or i'm going from the hang i'll use straps or pulls or whatever uh but he did it with no straps and i know a lot of people like to talk about well he did it but he had straps on so it doesn't count this counts 175 that's a big lift um but when he does use straps uses the weightlifting house straps. As you can see in this video, he just hit 170 kilos for a snatch plus hang snatch. That's when he cracks them out and he was wearing the weightlifting house. He, he wears the house straps. He doesn't wear these. These are the um, the elite straps, the longer ones. His teammate, Christo Christoph, does use those long ones, but he uses the house straps. I'll put a link to them down below if you want to get them as well. But Carlos is in great shape. That's the exciting news here. 175 snatch. 170 snatch, hang snatch. He's got big front squats coming in, which probably means there's a big cleaner jerk too. I think he's fueled up. I think he's feeling angry. You know, here's the thing. He's competed against Nino twice and he's lost both times. Both times were at European Championships in the 81 and then 89s. He's lost both times. In between those, they competed separately. Carlos went to the World Championships and lifted more than Nino had ever done in that category, but Nino wasn't there. Who knows what Nino could have done if he was there. So this World Championships, those two, then you throw in a cutting Tian Tao, assuming Tian's coming down. I would have thought he would. He prefers being lighter. Uh, you chuck in a Kedemar, you chuck in uh, someone, someone good. And uh, we've got a real story in our hands here. So I'm excited for that. Speaking of Nino, uh, he just hit 150 kilos in the hang power snatch, which he likes doing these hang powers. I don't even remember if I posted that video of the 140 where he does like three in a row, just like touch and go hang powers at 140 kilos. And then he also posted a video of a 160 kilo hang snatch. It was the same session. Uh, the 150 was a power. The 160 is not a power, but it's not rock bottom. It's a, it's a pretty big pull. And then also the fact that he did this, it was 190 kilos in the power clean and jerk. It's just the way that he puts the brakes on in the power clean. Cause like there's a few different power cleans. There's a Salimi starfish power clean. There's the Seb Ostrovich, push your knees really forward. Actually, you're basically as deep as you can go, but technically your hips are above your knees, power clean. That's me. I actually did a, I did that with 133 kilos once, which I'm very proud of. Um, but it's not really a power because you're so deep, you're just manipulating your body in a weird way. And then there's the Nino power clean, which is like hips and knees in the same plane that they would be as they would descend into a squat. He's not doing this thing where he just pushes the knees, he's staying here. I hope these hands make any sense to you. Um, and just then the speed that you can put the brakes on, like that bar is coming down, but he gets under it so quick, hasn't had time to gain too much momentum and bury him. He just gets under it and he's just up, kind of like Ilya 2015 President's Cup back room. If you know, you know. So exciting to see what's gonna go on there. Next we have, and today I'm just going through some of the big lifts I've missed over the last month, basically, because I've been away at the Asian Championships. Irina Decker from Ukraine, one of my favorite weightlifters in the world. Uh, she is a three-time European champion. Unbelievably, she's never medaled at the World Championships yet. But three times she's come out top in Europe. Uh, she just posted a lift. She's a, so she's an 81. Uh, she used to be a 76 and then before that she was a 75. So she just posted a 115 kilo snatch and it looks so nice. It's like, it's a really interesting lift because she starts with her hips high and her shoulders low, as most, as a lot of people do. Then she drops them, as most people do. Then most people pause there ever so slightly, just to be at that position, 
and then they pull. She just, in one movement, hips come down, and then she starts standing up. And she kind of kicks the bar out slightly, but it just traces her legs back in. She's so smooth in the turnover. And then it's almost like she catches the bar. I don't know if you... This is how it looks to me. It's almost like her weight is slightly a bit further back in her heels than a normal person. Like, she's catching it almost sat in her heels, which you want to be more mid-foot. But it, but it, it's, like, purposeful and deliberate and nice. It's a good lift. Her best snatch is 120 kilos. She did that as a 75, which is just crazy. That's back in... 2017, I think, at the World Championships. That would have been Anaheim. Oh, something I want to mention quickly, by the way, uh, weightlifting AI. Uh, the number of improvements we've had on there recently, if you've been missing the Instagram post, you'll have missed some of this stuff if you're not on the email list. Uh, so I told you guys about the readiness, so you can go on and say, my sleep quality was okay, my diet's been good, I'm not feeling too sore, blah, 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 my motivation is this, and then the program changes slightly for you. But we've also now got exercise switching, not just for accessories. So like, you know, let's say you don't have a uh, leg press, but you've got a belt squat, you can just make the switch. In fact, you could even switch it for bicep curls if you wanted to, but why am I saying that? I don't know. It's not like I do bicep curls. Um, <laughs> Oh, it's all I do. Oh yeah, but also we now can switch other exercises. So let's say, uh, let's say you've been given snatches uh, and you want to practice some no foot. You can now just switch through to no foot. And obviously the AI is so smart that it knows that you're doing that, uh, and it takes that into account in terms of the loading, the volumes, makes you know accommodation for that down the road, that sort of thing. Uh, you could even switch it if you just wanted to go off blocks or if. You know, you can just make the changes now. If you have had a coach in the past who says, look, you need to do a little bit more of the no hook variety, you can do that because, you know, maybe that coach just specifically wants you to do that. So you can use the AI now with uh, almost like a technical coach elsewhere if you would ever need to. So it's really, really cool. It's really cool. You can get it for free at the moment. Two week trial is the code to get a two week trial uh, and you won't regret it. So get over there. It's, uh, it is the future. It's the best weightlifting programming in the world. Uh, it's like having a coach in your pocket. It's like having Max Ata inside of your pocket with me stood behind you, you know, giving you a little shoulder massage. Like you're in the training hall. I'm there doing this, you know, I'm whispering things in your ear, like you've got this champ. And then Max Ata just pokes out of your pocket and he's just like, do a no hook. That, that is the feeling that you get apparently when you're on the AI. That's what people have been telling us. That's how it feels. So um, if you want to feel that, then uh, the link's down below. <laughs> Right, um, where were we? So the 103rd Korean Sports Festival was on and it was filmed by our boy We Lift Weights. Really nice guy, really good friend of Weightlifting House. He's filmed for us before the Asian Championships. Um, and he filmed a load of this stuff, which is great. So we got to see some amazing lifting from Team South Korea, who obviously, don't forget, they won the World Championships. We know they're an amazing team. I'm not going to go through all of them, but everybody did very well. It was really impressive to see. Let's look at a few. So there are three lifts I want to go through. The first, Hansol Young. He's a 73. He clean jerked 193. Now, apparently he almost bombed out on the snatch but then came back and hit this big 193, which gave him the gold in the total, as well as a clean jug. 193, that's just five kilos under the world record. That's a big lift. I don't know if he's the kind of guy who can get into the mid-50s in the snatch. He's obviously not really going to threaten Shizu Young, but just to see more and more people up in those 190s and the 73s is huge. Then we have the 96 kilo lifter. This is maybe the most, this is the most ridiculous lift from there. Yonak Zhang. Zhang Yonak, uh, the 96, he snatched 182 kilos. That's 400 pounds. That is equal to what Lesman just hit at the Asian Championships. It's five kilos under Lesman's world record. I don't think there's anyone else who's done that uh, internationally other than Sarab and Lesman. And this wasn't internationally. You know what I mean? Like, no one, has no one does this. Like, a few people have done 180, 181. Bodhi's done it. Tian's done it. Um, Rivas has done it. You know, there are people, maybe I've forgotten a few. Yevgeny Tukansu did 180. Uh, but 182? That's nuts. So, huge lift there. Excited to see what he does at the World Championships. Uh, and then, you know, our favorite super. Not our favorite. She's one of our favorite supers. Sun Young Hee, 167 kilos in the clean and jerk. What did she hit at the World Championships? I'm going to say it was 165. It was 159. It was, it was only 159. Yeah, it was only 159. I, th I think she's done more. She has done more. But 167 is big. I, I said this uh, um, a while ago on a video uh, at the Asian Championships about how 
the lifters there were pushing up into the 50s and then the current lifters who are around the low 60s are going to start pushing into the 70s and she's leading it she's definitely one of them emily campbell is another we know that she can go 65 she's going to push towards 70 soon sun young he is one of them we're going to push towards the 170 mark uh there's uh dranka sorn chidi um from thailand who took the bronze silver at the world championships last year she's someone who could do it so very exciting 167 though looks very good and then we're gonna it's a different competition but we're gonna stick with a video from we lift weights uh shout out to Django. he filmed miko uh, mikiko ando from japan the 59 kilo weightlifter she took the bronze medal at the olympic games she just hit 126 kilos in the clean chuck which is good because i thought she was going to retire he mentioned in the post that she had said that she was going to retire and then she pulled a bit of a lu jiao jeune if you will and decided look it's only three years until paris let's give it a go so she's giving it a go um and 126 is big i mean her personal best in competition is this is what he said is uh, 131 kilos so she's only within five kilos and that's pretty amazing considering she has so long to go until uh she needs to really peak so big stuff there okay we still have people to go through we have julia misserendina ryan grimsland lasher but we have the brother and sister combo sarah fisher and David Fisher Rov, who moved to Bulgaria from Austria. Let's start with Sarah. Sarah did 108, 132 in training. Those are plus six and plus three on her competition bests. No, they were until she just competed at the European under 23s. Um, 108 is still a big personal best. The 132 she beat that, she just hit 135. But 108 is like six kilos up on the most that she'd ever hit in a snatch, so that's big. Her brother, who now competes for Bulgaria, hence they've added the of on the end of the name, David Fisher of. Uh, he's a 102 kilo European champ. He just hit a 150 kilo power snatch, which looked pretty nice. A 160 kilo push press that was strong too. Lash Talakadze, a quick update on him. There's not a huge amount to go through, but we'll do a little bit. Uh, 195 kilo block snatches, you know, above the knee, you know, like just fast. He's looking good. He did a 200 kilo power clean and push press. That actually is really good because Despite being the man who was clean more than anyone else in the history of the sport, uh, and despite having the biggest snatch ever and the biggest pull, um, he's not the best power cleaner because he's just not, he's not able to put on the brakes in the same way that someone like Nino is. So it's either like he's got to catch it with his knees at this angle uh, or this angle, but he can't come here. So 200 is actually a big deal. More impressive though, I think, is the, uh, is the push press. He also snatched 210 kilos again. He's clinched at 245, I think, very recently. So he's getting back there. Of course, he was injured at the European Championship. So he's just trying to get back safely. Oh, by the way, uh, very quickly, I haven't covered any of Lu Jiajun's comeback uh, since that first video where I can't believe how many people thought that we didn't realize. Don't worry, what was going on with, with Lu. But um, that's what happens when a video reaches a wider audience. But I would... If people want me to cover the Lu Xiaojun comeback and go through some of his lifts and his training and, and show the progression and just talk about where he's at, let me know uh, down below and, and I'll, I'll, I'll get to that. So next we have Ryan Grimsland, who just competed at the Junior Pan Ams, I think it was. He hit, this is old news now, but it's got to be mentioned, he hit 170 kilos on the block snatch. That's a big deal. That is a big deal. The best, the, I mean, what's the world record? 169 by um, Shizu Hong. So that's a kilo over the world record, uh, 170. From the floor though, I think his best is, I want to say he did 151 maybe in training. He just hit 147 kilos in competition. Was it 100? Let me just check it, I don't want to get it wrong. I think he did 147, 180. 180. Yeah, it was, it was 147, 180. So he's 23 kilos down, uh, that's about 15%. So he's block snatching about 115% of his snatch which is high like that is high i mean we know that a lot of people are better um Illy did 205 off blocks with a 191 and he also did 200 with a 186 Klokov did almost did 214 with a 206 uh but that's that's big that's that's the biggest i know of um but you know it's gonna translate eventually but it's a huge lift shout out to ryan for that i like the fact that he's so aggressive in trying to be the best he's kind of got that confidence of just like it doesn't matter that I'm from America. I'm going to, I'm going to just, I'm just going to beat Shizu Young. Like I'm going to say it. I don't think he's going to. I, th I think that's fair. But I really like the fact that he says that he's going to, and he just believes it. 
I'm a big fan of that kind of confidence. It makes the sport exciting. It's like, that's what we get in other sports to do it. Like, did anyone watch the UFC over the weekend? There's just so much confidence there from people. Like, Olivier is just like saying that, like, he knows he's going to win. And then Islam saying, no, I'm going like, to. I just like that. I like the confidence. And uh, Ryan kind of has that. So shout out to Ryan for that. That's a, that's a big block snatch, 170. And then the final lift, uh, Julia Miserendino from, this is back in September 24th now, because I'm having to go back a long way because I missed so much stuff while I was away. 105 kilo snatch. That was a Italian 71 kilo snatch record. And then she beat it again with 106 kilos at the under 23s at the European Championships in Albania last week. That's everything. Thank you guys all for tuning in and uh, join Weightlifting AI. And I'll see you on there. Catch you in a bit.